Hello my YouTube family, hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a Wix website. First of all you have to search this website wix.com. If you would like to follow step by step while creating your own website and keep that in your mind Wix is very easy editor and a very good website. It's actually what to see is what you get editor. And the main purpose of this video is to walk you through how to navigate the interface, how to use the tools. I'm going to be creating a simple site and I'm going to call the site foodie, just a food based site. So first of all, you need to decide when you're creating your website is what kind of website you want to create. You want to create a business profile. Do you want to create a photography profile, a site for your restaurants, uh, e-commerce sites and blogs, whatever you want. First, you have to think. And the great thing about Wix is they offer a ton of templates for you to choose from that. You know center around your category of website that you are trying to create and just kind of styles and design that you like and you want to kind of use as a cookie cutter templates to go ahead. Then from there add your own elements and change it up to of course fit your site. In this case I am just going to go with a blank template like a literally a blank canvas that way. I can just kind of show you how a lot of the tools work and how to go about you know navigating Wix interface here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on on blank templates I'm gonna use a start from scratch here hit edit and this is going to take me directly into the Word Wix editor so here we are in the Wix editor and I told you we are just using a very blank canvas page page to create the site that I'm calling to be a foodie. This is super simple very visual site that I want to create here. Before starting the editing, I want to mention the main three elements. When you're using the Wix, in the top side of your nav bar, there is where you go ahead. Click on it and you can see you can add page link and menu headers and create a whole new page and I can call it for example about so now I'm on my about page if I click on the home page and I switch to the home page here so whatever you have highlighted that's the current page that you are editing in the case I have just a very simple about page I'm going to delete this because I don't want this on the right side you have your site setting that is how you can save your site and recommend doing that as often as preview your sites, publish it and more you here. You have tools, help and upgrade options. Here is the option of zoom. Here is the option of redo, undo. So you can use easily this editor. It's a very, very, very simple editor. And yeah, one more very interesting option. This option allows you to switch between mobile and the desktop sites. This option is very very useful because nowadays sites tends to be you know viewed on different devices and the great thing about Wix is it automatically makes responsive so that your site works on whatever platform there is a tablet, phone or desktop alright so that's the main nav bar. The left here is how you add any basic elements or just basic elements see your sites and then you write toolbar here is how you adjust those specific elements once added so for example you can choose by your own choice there are many options tags images galleries and the wix market in this you have many backgrounds interesting backgrounds you can use then there is also a very good option you can also upload from your phone or devices like you can add images, videos, single tracks and documents. Then there is the option if you want to set up a blog alongside. You can do that through the Wix blog function. Let's go ahead and start by just making a very basic text. Header here so I am go ahead and click text and as you can see there is a ton of different options for these all. That I have created that text element here you can see. On the right side here allows me to do certain things i can duplicate it i can delete it change the alignment changes the the size and the position so you you can do this all manually or you can just kind click and drag and so you can adjust it's like this just click drag adjust the size as i want or again manually input the dimensions that i want that to be if I just double click on this and now I am I am going to be able to control the side title here so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to add it on the header 
you have different type of options there is header then in between page and then a uh, footer so here i just explained you how you can add a text uh, in your page and a website now move ahead and let's see what's there more first let me delete it so i explain you next there is also a very good option you can use and add a strip on your background you can drag it and adjust by your own you can use many of them there are many options more and more you can use background uh, a scenery a foodie or whatever you want let me select one picture from the gallery there are tons of pictures in the gallery you can choose by your own whatever picture you like you can add let me add one i'm choosing this just to show you how to drag it and adjust it in the background you can align this picture by using this toolbox now underneath a gallery i am going to add a couple more elements let me just go ahead and drop it in a couple things here just to showcase what is it would like if i fill it out just a bit more so you can see i decided to add these boxes what i want to do is create three of them so i'm going to go ahead and line it here and rather than having to manually drop three of the elements I am just going to click on this and I am going to active my toolbar so I can see this here and duplicate the elements across. By clicking on duplicates and duplicate, I have these multiple elements with the exact same size and color. And now I am going to do from here is simply add some text on top of that. So let me go ahead and take a basic text layer here and then drop those over the boxes so i will just say let's go with a small heading here so i added this too i want to add lastly a contact from down below and then i'm going to go ahead and click on add again and find that contact element that i want to add in here click on that and and then go ahead and click on it and then it will be dragged into my site here and then go ahead and adjust it as needed. so now that we have into that content format i'm going to go ahead and add more images here to make it visual longer to fill the slideshow and i decided that i like these boxes but i'm going to actually just replace with images because it looks more visual and appealing and that's a great thing about wix you can easily just adjust the elements of the site in really without ruining the rest of it here so so let's go ahead and add more things you have a lot of categories i'm just going to delete it and add the food pictures now that i have had them at the gallery i can add captions or even add links to them as i would like and hit done here and all the images are now added to my slide show up here and i'm going to go ahead and add in the other one as well it looks so interesting so yeah here i'm repeating my words this website wix.com is a very interesting website and a very easy 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 editor and yeah you have so many different options to play around with it and redesign depending on how and where you want you can add many elements on your home page like i added contact you can see here they offer different menus and they have horizontal menus you have all sort of great styles that you can go ahead and check out so for example if i just want to add this very common 
want here I can add a themed menu just go ahead and click on this one right here and what this is going to do it's going to go ahead and drop the menu element here on my side here now I am just going to go ahead and drag it up whatever I want to put it so let's say I want to put it up here attach it to the header and then we are going to go ahead and move the side logo just a little bit above that so I may go ahead and adjust that here so it sits just right on top of that I can go ahead and just reduce the size of this just a little bigger so I can kind of hard put it to down and then from there it's going to pull from the pages that you have currently set up on your site just one whole menu here but for example if I was to go into pages here and add pages so we will go ahead and add a page here you can see automatically so you can add whatever you want blog or something of that nature whatever you want you can create now you can see we are back on the home page now we have those three pages set up at the top there so it pulls from the pages that you have set up on your site very 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 simple and easy there's tons of different designs that you can choose from as far as your menu items color goes so it's all up to you so now if i click on preview here just like that now we have a complete site super visual here we have our page at the top but i can navigate here i have my own slideshow that i have set up i have a drink menu that i set up here is super visual super that's a great thing about wix you have the freedom to create whatever you want thank you for watching goodbye